The opinions of our panelists do not necessarily reflect those of BangZoom Entertainment or Revision3.com. This episode of Anime TV is brought to you by Gamefly and GoDaddy.com. Welcome back to Anime TV! Episode 5! <laughs> not 10, We're just 5. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Anyhow, we talk about anime, manga, video games, and Asian pop culture. And today, we're going to review Rental Magica, uh, released by The Right Stuff, and we're going to visit the LAX Marriott to check out Anime LA. Anime TV, go! go! Here we are, the HEMA segment. What have you been doing with your free time? I've been watching k -On, which is a show by the guys who did Haruhi. Or okay. Man and woman. And I've been losing my voice, as you can hear. And I've been watching Angel, which is very old, but it's still awesome. Wait, like the... Like, like Buffy, Buffy Angel? Buffy Angel. Okay. Yeah. I'm behind. Yeah. I haven't had much free time before, apparently, this month, so... Okay. Shall we uh, get on with the... Let's let's go see what the panelists are doing with their yeah. free time. All right, Johnny. So Hema's what we're watching, what we're doing. Just because we watch anime doesn't mean it's all we're doing. So <laughs> Mile, what you up to? The thing I'm reading right now is called Gakuen Arisu, also known as uh, Academy Alice or Alice Academy, I think in English. I heard of that. One. Yeah, yeah, and um, I, I was introduced to this when I went to Japan, and I was staying at my friend's house, and she was like, "If you're bored for two hours, here's a." And then I ended up reading the whole series. It's great. Well, what's it about? Well, basically, what it's about is that um, some people in the world have special powers that are called um, Alice's. And there are different types of Alice's, whether it be like um, magical powers, or you have an ability to manipulate uh, machinery and create weird and wacky things. It's a huge, like, high comedy uh, thing, but suddenly there's a storyline where it's all dark and there's a sinister aspect at school. And it goes, it, it surrounds this, uh, the story surrounds a girl who basically wants to get into the school because her best friend has been at the school, hasn't been writing back, and she's like, I don't know what's going on, I want to join the school. And then she manages to join the school. So that's a little bit about the story, if you want to read it or watch it. I haven't really seen the anime. I've heard it's okay. Um, so I guess when I do, I will talk about it here. All right. Okay. KG, you look <laughs> trash, He's man. He's making me laugh. I, I like uh, the new hair. Yeah. that's, yeah. that's I lost a bet. <laughs> I haven't been doing much in the past week. I've mostly been um, playing a lot of... A lot of Street Fighter. Street Fighter 4. I've been playing a lot of it, and... Um, and I've been going to various um, competitions for this game. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just checking out the scene. And people, I'm constantly surprised by the amount of, like, really hardcore fighting gamers out there nowadays. You know, you, you, know you just, come on. You know you just, you just want to hear Kyle talk to you. <laughs> Kyle Bear, the voice yeah. of uh, Ryu. Ryu. Yeah. Um, I love that guy. But mostly I go there because of the uh, slight off chance of winning, like, 600 bucks. Laura. Bring it home. What, what are you doing? I'll bring it home. Or bring it home? Bring I home I watched a lovely little gem of an anime called Lovely Complex. Lovely Complex? I love this anime. Have you seen it? Yeah, it's a couple of years, it's a couple of years behind, like the Shonen one, oh, yeah. right? The, sho the Shoujo one, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. Anyway, it, it's about this, it, it's a high school anime, yeah. And if you like high school romances, it's about a girl in high school named Risa, and she's the tallest girl in school. And it's about how she falls for, I don't know if he's the shortest guy in school, but he's one of the shortest. He's pretty damn short, He's actually. one of the shortest guys yeah. in school. But he's also really cute and good at basketball, and he's good, you know, he's cute and, <laughs> yeah, he's cute. I'm sensing a theme. Yeah. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> he, I like him. And his name's Otoni. And... Wait, they, his name is O Tony. O Tony. O Tony. I like mine better. <laughs> o Tony. I don't. Maybe in the. I haven't. I watch in Japanese. Maybe in English. They'll call him O Tony. I don't know. Right. So. Anyway. So. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really cute. About if you're a tall. It's about a 
tall girl dating a short guy and ha how that kind of works and how they get over those stereotypes and it's really cute they start off as friends and Risa realizes she likes him first and I think in real life when a girl pursues a guy the way Risa pursues Otoni he would normally run for the hills um, that's my experience anyway well like with a knife is she wait, no, wait. No, no. are you telling me you actually chased a guy like she did and he ran no, for the hills no pursues chased I'm not saying I did it I'm you saying like if you did it the way in real life that she does it in the anime, I don't know if he would be as stationary. Receptive. Stationary. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But they start off as good friends, and I think that's why. They start off as really good friends, and then she starts to like him. It's really cute. If you love high school romance animes, this is one. We All need right. a cute counter for you. Well, Cute, cute, dang cute. Well, my anime is not so much slice of life as it is about two girls in love. I've been watching this Yuri called Sasumi Kito. And it's... I'm, I'm sorry, you're watching a Yuri? I'm watching Yuri. Really? I am watching a Yuri, and I'm in love with it. It's not vulgar or anything. It's about um, two girls, right? One's uber into girls, the other one's only into that girl. And so their adventures in high school about how she wants to create an all-girls club, how the other, how the other girl wants to... Uh, be in love with her, but she doesn't see it because she's not cute. She's like masculine, strong, and daring, and you know, the type of anime girl you don't really see nowadays. And so, your type of girl, my type of girl. <laughs> yeah. No, if she had a mech, then she'd be my type. Ray, one love. Main don't you point have a is... girlfriend? No, hey, Cindy, how's it going? <laughs> oh, Cindy, uh, uh, look, Katie you're horrible, likes Katie, you more. Though. Main point is. Anime is nice. It's crisp. It's about love between girls, and you know, open love's good. I'm I'm all about that. But um, sure. that's what I've been doing my free time. Um, I can't believe I'm hearing something about Yuri from you. I know but, it's uh, it's it's kind of weird, isn't it? No, I, I, no, I, just you always like talking about mechs and the whole sci-fi angle, so it's well, it's refreshing and nice. I have a softer, like tender it. side to me. Oh. Also, he likes chick on chick. You should watch yeah, Lovely oh. Complex. I watched Lovely Complex. Didn't like it too much. Oh. Anyway, Johnny, <laughs> back to you. Stick around when we come back, Anime LA. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. With plans starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. Once you're done playing a game, send it back and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. If you really like the game you're playing, simply click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. Anime fans get a two-week free trial when they go to Gamefly.com slash anime. So what's the big deal about Anime LA? Anime LA is really fun because it's not like Anime Expo, which is an amazing convention as well, because it's a smaller one. So it's all about the fans. Smaller. Yeah, this is small. It's all about the fans and that just hanging like out. like people in the church or something. Oh, no, that's this. this that's this, right. This. Okay, sorry. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a concert there. Um, they have a bunch of bands going. Uh, there's masquerade, cosplay, all that fun stuff. The ATV crew went and they caught it all on film, so check out these clips. Hey everybody, this is Jenny with Anime TV and we are here at Anime Los Angeles. What number are we on now? Six? We're on num number six, darling. There number we six. go, take number a look. 15. What do you think? things right now you know just because I'm a fan and we're at one of those fan driven conventions doesn't mean we don't know how to shop fans buy stuff all the time all the time I'm looking for probably a new Gundam kind of solo chalk in line figure armors removal or you know what I might buy me a new Gundam how about you you know I'm not really looking for any one thing in particular but you know whatever catches my eye there's always something I end up buying whether I want to or not Look, my good friend Kyle A. Bear. How many of you guys know him? He is actually the guest of honor this year at Anime LA for uh, 2010. 
So, tell us, so, anything new going on in your life right now? Anything going on, same old, same old. As an actor, you audition and audition and audition and hopefully something sticks. So, hopefully you'll hear me on a lot of video games and new shows in the new year. Cool. Anything fun that you can talk about with games and stuff that you're doing? Oh yeah, Super Street Fighter 4, reuse back. Oh, you're doing the new one? Yeah. I know, right? There's new characters. I can't say who or what, but Ryu is back. He's got some cool new power moves to do, so I'm pretty excited about that. So that was our look at Anime Los Angeles 6. Right after the break, we're going to be reviewing Rental Magica. Web hosting from GoDaddy.com includes 99.9% .9 uptime, 24-7 support, and free access to hosting connection. The place to install over 30 free applications sure to help you get the most from your hosting plan and website. Anime TV fans type ATV14 at GoDaddy.com to get a .biz domain name for $7.49. One lucky Revision 3 viewer will win $25,000. The contest ends February 12th. Go to My.biz now to enter. Rental Makika is a show about mages for hire. It features eye patches, flashbacks, a main character named Itsuki. It was based on a light novel series and the episodes were broadcast out of order. Does that sound familiar to you? Like Haruhi? Yes, kind yes, of like bit. Haruhi. Anyways, it was released by The Right Stuff International on two 12-episode sets. Uh, sub only. Is the show worth buying without a dub? Check it out. Rental Magica, story of a young boy who's thrust into a world of magic he can't quite understand. It's a mix of growing up with harem, a little bit of Ghostbusters with space janitors, and everything in between. You're giving it too much credit. I'm sorry. I have to, I have <laughs> Look, to say that. That I have to, I, I have to make it sound a lot better than it looks. But since you brought it up, Mile, what did you think of Rental Magica? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't clear enough, apparently. Um, apparently, by the way, it's rent, uh, Rental Magica it was yeah. was the uh, written translation at the bottom when I was uh, watching the anime. It's in Japanese. It's like oh, Magica. But, yeah, but, I don't but, know why. But all reverence to the anime, I'm American, and we have an American word like rental, and then something that looks like Magica next to it. I'm not going to switch over to oh, that's pronounced Magica because it's rental Magica. That's to, that's just why are me. we angry? Why are we well, angry? That's it's a horrible series. It I'm is sorry. a horror. It is a horrible. That's why I think my eyes kept drifting to the bottom, like bottom corner, and I kept like going, "Oh, that's so weird. Oh, well, I have to watch the end. Oh, it's so weird. It was literally a bad like. It was a poof. I'll call it a poof. It was like, <laughs> it was boring and a lot of like stuff like running around and let's show it was like a soap opera where they kept showing same scenes over and over again from their past and I was kind of bored you know how soap operas will will be like we need to fill like an hour uh, every single day so we're gonna come back and reiterate last the whole time. story last time and they do it for 40 minutes 
I mean, it felt like, I mean, obviously it wasn't 40 minutes long or right. anything, but it just felt like really tired and the characters were retarded. I'm sorry if you are a fan of it, but, you know, they were like, oh, we're not quite sure what we want to do, but we're going to throw every single magical element in the world that we can think of, uh, the Celtic witch and, you know, and then like, we have to, oh, you know what we have to do? We have to make sure that the main character is cute enough for, you know, the girls to like too, because you know you gotta get you gotta put something in there for the girls, and it was like this ridiculous like I'm gonna be meek and all this crap until I take off my eye patch and suddenly I'm full of like manly energy. <laughs> it was just ridiculous. It was it, it you know. I know that's how I get filled with manly energy. Oh totally, yeah, just like that. You take off, off your eye patch. Yeah. yeah. It works for Zaraki, so it could work for anyone else. Kimpachi. Oh. <laughs> yeah. okay. Wow. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> I, you know, we were just thinking about the bad anime, and I was like, was there a character that did that too? I was like, another one that I missed? Because it was so bad, and I was snoozing and drooling yeah. on my keyboard. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Laura, mm -hmm. what did you think about the magic? What did, what did you think of it? There was no magic. Yeah. Uh, if they showed that flashback to their childhood scene <laughs> one more freaking time. Oh. <gasps> oh, we should reenact it. I'm here! No. Follow me! Uh, uh, no. uh, if you why? close your eyes and listen to this, <laughs> it sounds a lot worse. No, yeah. it sounds exactly how I'm picturing it. You guys, by if you way. could just put this on, like, behind your browser for a second and rewind and then, like, do something else and have a roommate walk in. Wait, 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 wait. So, my, the way I know if an anime is boring me to death or not is if while I'm watching it, I go make a sandwich. Oh, like, just if I'm like, no, 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 but, yeah, there's that, okay. but, but you no, would usually like, pause it, right? I'm always hungry, KG. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, so, if I'm watching the anime and I'm, I'm gonna go make a sandwich, and then I come back, and I come back, and I go, I'm gonna go make another sandwich. Jesus. I wow. I come back, or I'm gonna get something, to, some juice, and I kept. Seriously, like I couldn't. I just can't with this anime. I just can't. Were you like a compulsive like eater? anime watching with bad eater? anime <laughs> or something like that? Anime, food, two very good vices. Right, very, right. There right. you go. All they, right. they go well together. They well, go well together. They do. Cage, you look satisfied with this anime. So what? <laughs> <laughs> it's well. Then what is it? So I popped the first disc in, and I. <laughs> Basically, if, you, if you're not familiar with the show, it's kind of like a mix between Haruhi Suzumiya and The Familiar of Zero. It takes its cue from the broadcaster, <laughs> doesn't it? it but not as good as either, and that's, that's saying a lot because I mostly hated Familiar of Zero and I was okay with Haruhi. But mm -hmm. if you're not familiar with it, it, the episodes go out of order. The episodes go out of order. They start with one of the last episodes, I think. Yeah. It's like there's a big fight. You're like, oh, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. You have no idea what's going on through the first three episodes. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, these characters, I guess I should know them. You know, the anime alludes that you should know these characters already. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, yeah, that guy. He, he came in. Yeah, that guy. And you they're know? talking about stuff. I have no idea what the hell they're right. talking you, about. Right. You literally have to watch this through like five, six, eight episodes to realize, oh, okay, I, you know. Yeah. That's, cute, you know, whatever. That's what I pulled from Haruhi because when I watched Haruhi, they built the whole uh, the whole series around the premise of this is out of order. We know this is out of order. You now know this is out of order. This is where it falls in, and then we go from there. Right, but, but this show. But if you're gonna show, copy something, you do it better. Do, do it yeah. better. Yeah. This show yeah. felt like it was just a gimmick for you to watch the show. It's yeah. like, yeah. hey, our show, our episodes are out of order. Hey, hey, watch it, you know. Yeah. yeah. It, it's just, I I couldn't, and the character designs are so just... Yes, I was just about to say, yeah. it's some of the Horror. crappiest animation I've ever seen. And shoddy, seen. Yeah. and uninteresting. When the blonde girl is flying on her little air shark, or whatever, through the sky, it's some of the, <laughs> the crappiest... Air it's a mech air shark. I like that, It's by some the of the way. crappiest crappy. animation crappy. I've ever seen. I loved it when she was like, I can't believe she's leaving all that magical disruption everywhere. And then she's like, let me fix that. And she's like, and then magic they get this like shielding crap. And she's like, whew, I'm going to leave. And you're like, mm. they're magic janitors. Yeah. They are the magical show is. janitors. It's magic janitors. And if that kind of thing appeals to you, it's janitor like, stories are good. Planetus was good, but this was not. Those are space good. janitors. Those, but, but they, they kind of borders on a little janitors. bit of Ghostbusters there. First episode, he's fighting the monster, and I swear his eye became a trap. Like it <laughs> just sucked it in. I'm like, wow, that's Ghostbuster material. Who are you gonna go and on? at the end of the episode, I was, I, I, I felt the need to be educated by a Japanese word like Saniwa 
are priestess and I'm seeing that I'm like, wow, is this show trying to educate me or ed entertain me? Because either way, I feel stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel even more dumb realizing I that I, 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 I spent money on it. Uh -oh. It was ridiculous because uh, for me, it was like they were, like I said, mixing the Celtic thing, like the right. witchy thing. And then they were like, we're going to use omyojutsu, which is like the Japanese kind of Asian, like I won't say Shinto, but it's like this. this... I, it was Shinto. Is it yeah, Shinto? That's what they said. Omyojutsu became really popular with the comic and subsequent movies, Omyoji. Which the movies were terrible, by the way. The comics great, manga's great. But anyways, I just it was like a mishmash, and and it was okay. ridiculous. Diagnosis well, not worth watching. Actually, I was saying at the beginning of the shoot Man. before we even started, it, it was going to be like the shortest review ever because it was like, what did you think about it? Uh, suck, 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 suck. Well, let's Bye. go home. Yeah. And then we were just going to have this empty couch for like five minutes for you to watch. Yeah. That, but we decided to stick it out and just give you the whole lowdown. But there's one thing I have to give about Reg. A magical rental magica. It's given me my own word of the day. You know what the word of the day is? Cliched. The story about a harem of magic users, two warring factions, and the ability to summon and dismiss creatures. Cliched. The ability of a young boy who has no magic ability whatsoever coming into his own just to fight the greatest evil. Cliched. <laughs> Cliché, the number, and I repeat, my brothers and sisters, anime kingdoms of otaku's out there, of the fan face. service, of the fan service that we are denied. Cliché, and the end of it all, I said it, I said it a while back. Harumi, Haruhi Suzumiya did something right, and this made me feel lost to the abyss. Where are the day people? Cliché, Mila. Bad. I wouldn't even bother watching it. I've I've said about some other animes before where I was like, you know what, it's cute, it's not good, but you can watch it and see. I wouldn't even watch it and see and and spend thirty minutes, possibly for the first episode, to you know, that was bad. Yeah. It's just bad. My my review was bad of it. Uh, I can't even talk. It's so bad. Your it's making me was retarded. Good. It was accurate. It was accurate. Your oh was no, I, and it's making me stupid just thinking about <laughs> it. I think, and I can't talk now. And it's just like it's just bad. It's you can do it. all right, Cage. Wake up. Uh-oh. There you go. Uh-oh. Sunglasses are coming on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that says enough. Laura. I, yeah. I already said no. All right. Like, I can't. No. All right. Well, <laughs> ultimately, <laughs> to, ultimately to Rental Magica's efforts, it's released by the right stuff which means it's coming out completely sub, just like some of you guys out there like, and doesn't have any of those weird voiceovers some of you guys might find just a little abrasive. Overall, if you want to give this show a try, you're going to feel like you've watched it before. From everyone here at Anime TV, I think we've seen enough to say that this is a stinker. Rental Magica is barely worth even that. A rental. Back to you, Johnny. <laughs> Check out Rental Magica for yourself on DVD. Out now from Right Stuff. <laughs> so the review was bleh. They didn't like it. And you watched it. I did watch it. I didn't care to finish it. Ooh. So, uh, next week... Is Basilisk. Yes. So you should probably come back and check that out, right? Yeah. Fan us on Facebook and uh, follow us on Twitter at GoAnimeTV. I'm Johnny Young Bosch. I'm Christina V. Anime TV. Go! <laughs> Rental Magica. Rental Magica. Yes, ah! right. <laughs> Rental Magica. Actually, it's. Rent some magical. Oh my god! No. Bang Zoom.